the show where there are no penalties, nothing is offside, and everything is fair game. This is The Gloves Are Off. One of my big fan base out there. Hello and welcome to The Gloves Are Off. I am your host, Carly Agro. Do not be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. This is not Brian Curran. Aaron Streck is here. He's the Shrekinator is filling in for the Colonel. Welcome, Streck. Thank you. See, we're on a last name basis. I don't even yeah. call you Aaron. I know. I'll just call you Agro from now on. There you go. That works. Okay, well, we, we would call our guest Charlesworth, but that might be rude and inappropriate. Let's introduce Mr. Glenn Charlesworth. Welcome. You are currently, we'll tell everybody uh, your role here in the community. I am the uh, President and Chief Executive Officer of Lakeland College and proud to be working in that role. And you can call me, call me Charlesworth, I've been called a lot worse. So. Really? Okay, yeah. good so, to know, yeah. good to know. That's a lengthy one though. We got Strack and Agro and then we got Charlesworth. Yeah, I know, a lot of letters. Yeah. Oh, lots the of letters. Syllables. Lot of letters. The syllables. Okay, let's get into our dumb and change topics. Now, as you both know, if either of you do not like one of these topics or you just don't want to talk about it, you can dump it and change and move on to the next one. So the first one that we're going to talk about, we're calling this no hitting. Because a, a significant decision came down on Friday, Ontario Hockey. Hockey Federation, no hitting, ages 6 to 21 in recreational play. I know that you have children. Streck, you, you don't have any children, no but kid. I'm sure that you grew up playing sports. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your take on this, it, taking hitting out of the game of hockey? Is this a big deal, and are you worried it's going to spread? Not a big deal. You know no. what? We're talking about rec hockey. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about competitive hockey. We're not talking about the, the AAA levels. There are a lot of injuries in hitting. Uh, I have no problem with the ruling at all. I think it's a good idea okay. with, with the kind of the caveat that if you've got kids that are going to be looking at competitive play, they've got to learn early how to take a hit. See, that's my concern then. What do you do? Or we're, what if you've got a, 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 a young boy or a young girl who's played rep, and they get cut from the team, they've got to go build their skill for a year, and then they spend a year in the rec leagues with no hitting. What has that done to their game? Oh, man, talking to Brian Curran about this topic, I he remember. He is not a fan. No, not a fan at all. I no. think he went on for like... Mm -hmm. 20 minutes mm -hmm. about how much he dislikes it. For me, you know, it's one of those things where I understand if it's a rec hockey, you don't really want to hit, you know, you're just there for fun, great. But if you actually want to like have hockey in your life and mm -hmm. in your career, it's a bad decision. You know, obviously some players, if they get to like a competitive league and then they get cut or something and have to play rec, it's definitely not good for them. Yeah. Uh, let's move on and talk some big show hockey now because obviously a big win for the Vancouver Canucks. Unfortunately, the National Predators are sort of historic playoff series uh, has now come to an end, but it is also history in the making for the Vancouver Canucks. Was this the result that you expected? Were you surprised to see that the Canucks were finally able to eliminate a team in six games? You go first, Glenn. Who can figure out the Canucks? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they look like world beaters, sometimes they look like doormats. I like that point, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm having a hard time. They seem to win despite themselves. Hmm, that's um, a good point. Very strong team. Um, but uh, there are times when they look like, like they belong in the juniors. So, I, you know, I, I can't make a prediction on this yeah. team. Well, see, the thing for everyone has said, it's kind of that, that age-old saying, your best players need to be your best players in the playoffs. So far, you've had stellar performances from Ryan Kessel. Well, let's not argue that. He's yeah. been outstanding. Again, we go back to the Sedins, though, because where have they really been? I think Daniel got on the board last yeah. night. But, but do you, their best players, have they been their best players? Are they missing that? Well, it seems like Bobby Lou, he's been there. You know, he's mm -hmm. always been, he's been their backstop the whole series. You know, they've been really tight games. But even you go back to, like, the Chicago Blackhawks series, you know, it seems like the guys were there for the first three. It seems like they took some games off. Yeah. And, you know, maybe it was a mental thing with R Roberto Luongo, just letting, you know, just about the Blackhawks. It seems like he's shaked that now. But he's by far their best player. If they're mm -hmm. going to go anywhere, it's going to be on it's his shoulders. Him. But you need a supporting cast, and the Sedins okay. definitely have to pick it up. Uh, let's talk about a cast member of the Detroit Red Wings who has been unbelievable. Pavel Datsuk. This guy, a lot of people thought maybe his wrist was even broken. He comes out and has, he didn't score any goals, sure, but he had three crucial assists in their big win to keep them alive. Do you think that Datsuk is going to continue to be a star for this team and lead them into the next round if that's the case? Absolutely. He's, mm -hmm. he's playing really well. I don't see any drop off in his play. He's not mm -hmm. taking face offs now. But I think he leads uh, postseason in assists, and he's right up there with the scoring leaders. Mm -hmm. um, he's been doing this for a long time now. He's, what, 32, 33 years old now. I think Datsuk is playing as well as he's ever been. The wrist, you know, it's the playoffs, you play through pain. I almost, yeah, and I almost admire him for that even more, playing through the pain. Because you've had guys, you know, I'm not saying, you know, Chris Pronger wasn't seriously hurt or, or Rich, whatever, but you got a guy like Datsuk who clearly has an injury and who's fighting through it. He realizes this is win or go home. 
Yeah, and that's the thing with hockey. It's one of those things where a lot of guys will take those quarter zone shots and they'll just play through the pain. And then you'll come out after, you know, they'll come out after the playoffs or after they're being, you know, eliminated. And they'll say, oh, well, you know, my, my arm was broken mm -hmm. or and I pay, played through it and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's one of those things where you just do it for your team and do it for the chance to hoist uh, Lord Stanley's mug. Yes. All right. Well, we have to take a commercial break, but we would like to hear from you. So drop us a line on our Facebook page. You can find us at The Gloves Are Off on Facebook. We'd like to hear some comments from you or maybe you have some feedback or maybe you don't like Strex Polo today, but it's a Lloydminster Golf and Curling Center one. So we better not say too much about that. <laughs> All right, we have to take a break, but uh, stay tuned. There's more Dump and Change coming up.